Hello, this is a video on autosomal genetics of East Asians. First, the three major poles of ancestry. East Asians have three major poles of ancestry, so-called shifts, that differentiate them from one another. Those poles are number one, Siberian, number two, Japono-Korean, uh, number three, AASI, which stands for um, Ancient Ancestral South Indian. The three poles are somewhat similar and all have ancestry from something related to the Tian Yuan man who lived in China 40,000 years ago. The fundamental differences between those three poles. Unlike Siberian and Japona Korean, the ancestral South Indian or Ongye pole is not entirely East Eurasian. AASI has significant shift toward West Eurasian groups. AASI or AASI-like influence in East Asians manifests in more European appearance. Uh, Japono-Korean influence differs from Siberian in that it has less West Eurasian affinities. Uh, mainly Siberian has uh, an ancient North Eurasian admixture, uh, which is not fully West Eurasian but partly West Eurasian. The Japono-Korean component is in a way the most unique component because it stands alone in the world and doesn't make East Asians closer to any ethnicity outside of East Asia. Just as WHG is an inclusively U exclusively European component, Japono-Korean is an exclusively East Asian component. This Japono-Korean ancestry is what defines East Asians and makes them separate from the other ethnicities in the world. Here is a PCA chart of East Asians. In this PCA I included Yakuts of Siberia, uh, Han Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, Mongols, Vietnamese, Thai, Tibetans and Mganasans of Siberia. So what can we see from this PCA? Uh, to the left arrow is indicated the direction in which English slash Cornwall is located. So to the left is more West Eurasian, more English-like shift. And we can see that the ethnicity that is most to the left is Mongols, Mongolians, and Thai. And the ethnicities that are least to the left, so the most East Eurasian ethnicities, you don't see it here, but it is Japanese, Han, and Koreans. And out of the Japanese, Han, and Koreans, it is the Koreans. Uh, we can see the purple arrow is the ASI or Melanesian or South Eurasian influence. And uh, relative to the Japanese, Han, and Koreans, the Thai have a very strong AASI influence. Uh, in green, we see Siberian influence, or maybe North, North Eurasian, you could say, influence. And then Ghana Sans are the ones that, are, that have the strongest influence from this group. And we see that the Japanese, Han, and Chinese, once again, they occupy a very similar space. Uh, they're very close to one another, and they are at the extremity of the East Eurasian cluster. So, Koreans are like the Estonians of East Asia. Just as Estonians can be used as an example for the most European Europeans, or Europeans with highest divergence from non-European groups, Koreans are the most East Asian of East Asians, followed by Chinese, which are then followed by Japanese, who have a significant West Eurasian shift relative to the Koreans. How West Eurasian are the Japanese relative to Koreans? So here I show some models. You can model Japanese as a mixture of 98.6% Korean and 1.4% English. Uh, so it's not, it's not much, but it is some West Eurasian ancestry is pl uh, present there. You can model Japanese as a mixture of 97.4% Korean and 2.6% uh, Onge or AASI, once again, not a very significant percentage, but it's there. It's a slight shift towards uh, West Eurasian groups relative to Koreans. So, but this, this one is interesting. How West Eurasian are Thai relative to Koreans? I was under the impression that these uh, Southeast Asians uh, were very East Asian and did not have any Caucasoid uh, blood, but they do. Uh, the Thai have 40% Ongye or AASI blood relative to Koreans, which is a lot. It is, on, it is almost half. 
So they are pretty much almost half South Indian in ancestry, almost, and South Indians and Ongye are in turn about half West Eurasian in ancestry. And Thai can be modeled as a mixture of 85.4% Korean and 14.6% English Cornwall. So relative to the Koreans, uh, they have such a strong West Eurasian influence. It is very, very impressive, very interesting. So, uh, we move on to the next point. Uh, the facial features of Southeast Asians. Uh, this is a Thai man, but you can notice that he looks like an Uzbek with an Australoid uh, influence, namely the nose. Uh, looking at the faces of Southeast Asians, you will see how West Eurasian or Caucasoid shift relative to the Koreans influences their appearance. The facial features of Koreans, and this is the last slide. Although Koreans don't carry any West Eurasian ancestry, their faces sometimes look pseudo-European. Uh, some Koreans even have a double eyelid. It is very interesting how the most stereotypically East Asian look is found not in East Asians, but in Siberian, which I guess Siberia is East Asia, but it's not in Chinese or Japanese or, uh, or Koreans, but it is found in Siberian, Nganasan and other Samoyedic people. So thank you guys for watching, uh, drop a video suggestion in the comments, and uh, peace out.